Such a wonderful tune by Jeff Russo. And if you are a lifelong fan of this wonderful science fiction series on television, then get ready to learn, because we are about to engage <laughs> and learn Star Trek Picard's main theme on our cello. We begin today's lesson, of course, in the first part. Here is the music for your convenience. Let us begin. It's very smooth and legato. Long bow strokes, save that bow. This is a very long stroke, save your bow. And then we start the main theme. It's always down bow. And you want to have a loose wrist on those 16th notes. Portato up bow. Up bow. Down, let it glissando. Replace, down bow again. From 15, it is very much like we played for measure 8. Lift. That's about it for the bowing, except the very end, which I like to play down bow and up bow. It's like to connect this little homage to the next generation. So it's good to connect those. Now let's talk about the fingerings. We begin the theme in the sixth position, which is the second finger on the D harmonic, three on the B flat, two on the A, and then one on the F sharp. Then you play in the fifth position, three on the D, you can do the harmonic or not, two on the A flat, three again on the D, and then one on the G natural. This is how it sounds like. And then we're in here in the upper third position with an extension back. It's one, two, four, two, four, one bar. I like to bar that to make it nice and smooth. Dropping your four on the B and then two on the A. It continues with the D, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. And then you play a one on the D, last note of the upper third position, sliding up to fourth position, four on the G natural, and then doing this beautiful glissando back, sliding to the first position two here on the C natural. This is what it sounds like. Measure 15 is very much like you just played with a 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, 1 bar. Dropping your 4 on the B natural where you are in measure 17. Harmonic that and play your 2. It doesn't do good with the string crossing there. Then it, the rhythm changes a little bit in measure 20 with some eighth notes. Do a portato on that D, sliding up to the 4 and make this beautiful fourth position connections that I have arranged for you. Let's see what that sounds like for measure 15.
here up to the sixth position. Place your second finger on the D, just like the beginning. Three on the B flat, two on the A. Shift back, F sharp, up again, three, two, B flat, A, back to the F sharp. Take your time with that B flat. It is a longer note. And then A, F sharp, drop your second finger on the G sharp, slide back, first position two and then four. That was ending in measure 31. I will play from fourth beat of 22 to 31. It's a quick release going back to the upper third position. And this is where I go a little interesting with my fingerings. Here you want to shift up to the thumb position, thumb one, with your thumb on the harmonic D. Drop your first finger on the A on the G string, and then drop your second finger on the F sharp. Play your first finger on the E, slide your shape back, and then play your thumb on the C natural. Drop your second finger here on the B natural, ending with your first finger on the A. Now I will demonstrate from the third beat of measure 32. Since I have been very young, I have enjoyed the movies and television shows of Star Trek. And it just so happens, the only figurine I have of this wonderful franchise is of Jean-Luc Picard. Yes, the next generation is by far, in my opinion, the best. The reason is because as a classical musician growing up watching this television show, there was a lot of classical music in The Next Generation. A lot. Actually, it was never returned to like it was in that series. There was even an episode of Data which he meets his mother and they play a violin duet together. And there's a part where he says, We had practiced the piece and I noticed she played it the same way during the performance. Every pitch, every intonation was exactly the same. Only an artificial life form could have done that. Data knew that she was an android, and he also knew that to err is human. So I hope you enjoyed learning this wonderful theme from Star Trek Picard. Here is more content on the channel that you might find engaging, and I hope you continue to trek along this voyage of discovery.